What is the magnitude of the resultant of two vectors, A and B, if A equals 8 units north and B equals 4.5 units east? If we draw our vector A here, this is our vector A, or is equal to 8 units, and then we have our vector B, which is 4.5 units. These are simple, these are arrows above each of these letters. So V, this is an arrow here, this. This is denoting that what we have here is a vector. That's the means of denoting that it's a vector. It's dependent upon direction and so forth. So, our vector A, as denoted here, A with the arrow above it, or like your textbook will do, it'll bold the letters to tell you that they're vectors or they state outright that they are vectors. So, because it's harder to do bolding here, I'm using the arrow notation above the letters. So, we want to know the resultant of these two vectors, so we have to add the two of them together. So if we add A and B, we would get this. So we're going to use the tail to tip method here. So we wind up with vector A and B, because we know that this fit the form of A plus B. And now the problem occurs to what is the resultant value? How do we figure out what C is? Now we know that From algebra classes, you'll remember the Pythagorean theorem, where you have A, B, and C, and you want to find the length of the hypotenuse. That can be found by C squared is equal to A squared plus B squared. And when you want to solve for C, simply take the square root of both sides. You're left with C is equal to the square root of A squared plus B squared. So in this scenario here, we have to apply the Pythagorean theorem. Excuse me for my spelling there, that might be a little off, but that says the Pythagorean theorem, which you should know from your algebra class. So there's the mathematical explanation of it. Now we're going to apply the Pythagorean theorem to the tip to tail tail to tip method in order to solve for our C. So if we do so, we're going to have C is equal to, following this form here, is equal to A squared plus B squared. Now, if we plug in the values for those, we're going to have 8 units squared plus 4.5 units squared, which would give you square root of 64 units squared plus 20.25 units squared. We add that together. Going to get 84.25 units squared. And if we take the square root of that, we would find that our resultant vector is roughly 9.2 units. So the resultant vector of a vector A, which is 8 units to the north, 
shown by the green here, and our vector B of 4.5 units to the east, shown by the red here, would result in a resultant vector of C, which is blue here, of 9.2 units.